We got shipped out of Southampton, England, and then we sat on this Liberty ship until the storm subsided. And then we, then we went over to the side of the ship, down some ropes, and got into landing craft. And then we landed, uh, got onto Normandy, and relieved the paratroopers. After we relieved the paratroopers, we advanced a little bit up and got into the hedgerows. And the Germans had all the hedgerows all marked out with their tanks and everything. And they kept shelling us. And we lost our Jeep driver. He got hit. And I have to look back over my notes, but I think it was 3,000 planes came over from England mm -hmm. and bombed them at St. Lowe. The ground just shook when they had the 3,000 planes for bombing. And then at night, they had one little plane. He kept coming over the top, and, and he would, we call him Bed Check Charlie. Every time it got dark, it comes Bed Check Charlie. And he'd circle around, circle around, and sometimes he'd drop a bomb. And I thought, oh man, if he'd hit me, they'd never find me. I'd be at pieces. <laughs> I don't know, you think all kinds of things. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah. I think what happens is that uh, some of our troops would find a, a building or something and they'd find this wine in a building, you know, and they must have given this bottle to m my friend. And then he said, well, I'm going to take this home, and you know, I think that's what happened. I don't remember signing it. It's, uh, it's got my name on it, and uh, it's a lot of the people I know, uh, some of the lieutenants and something signed it. And, See, we worked with a lot of lieutenants and, and supply and stuff. And uh, so he passed away in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And his, his folks had put the bottle in a drawer or something. So one day the folks got the bottle out and gave it to his son. He saw my name somewhere on the 83rd Infantry Division on the, on the computer. So he contacted me, he wrote me a nice letter, and said he had a bottle, and asked me if I wanted it. He said, I'm the only one left. He said, it's your bottle, he says. And he said, I'll send it to you. So this is it. <laughs> Hard to read. It's getting pretty old. 1939. Chateau. L a u r e t a n. Yeah, take a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a souvenir. Uh, nobody's ever said just open it or anything. <laughs> I don't think I'll, I probably won't open it, probably my son, or my, my son might open it. <laughs> probably pass it on to my son. Yeah. <laughs> you can't take it away from me. <laughs>